in Sotel. Ask Sujita. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Sotel is like the Japanese district in LA, and apparently, Suji is one of the best ramen places according to our ramen expert, Chi. Hi there, I'm Chi, a ramen connoisseur. <laughs> and Sujita was my favorite, or is my favorite ramen spot, especially for Sukumen, dipping ramen, which is their specialty. So, yeah, we're about to order and we're about to see if this is the best ramen in LA. We're gonna get sake, we're gonna eat Japanese food. Salud. So this restaurant is usually really packed, as you can see. It's a full house and it's pretty small, but we came here at a good time, so we're able to snag a seat. But usually you have to wait for sometimes 30 minutes, an hour. So the best part about eating here are the condiments. <laughs> I love condiments, especially this is a classic, which is a pickled mustard leaf. And it gives us a crazy, like, spicy kick. <laughs> and the ginger here gives it a tartiness. So I love to eat these with the noodles. And then there's pepper, sesame, katsu sauce, the usual. So we basically all got the same thing except for Kim. She was bougie and decided to get an egg. I wanted to get, I want, I want an egg too though. But yeah, about to try this tonkatsu dipping ramen. Looking far. Let's see if it is far. So this is sukumen, which is a specialty here. What I usually do is put the condiments on. So I put sesame on the noodles. You can make it to your customize it to your liking. So I put the sesame in the noodles and in the broth. Okay, and in the rice. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. And then you do, and then I do this like red pepper. There's a name to it, but it's the red chili pepper. Put it on the noodles, put it in the broth. I don't put any of the liquid because I like the taste how it is. But I do like the spicy mushroom. Yeah, mustard leaf. It has like a wasabi, spicy, salty kick to it. I put it in the noodles and I also put it in the broth to give the soup a little kick. And for the extra tartiness, I put ginger and in the broth. Last but not least, the lime on the noodles. And then take a scoop of noodles. And the noodles is cold and the broth is like a little warm. Mix it up. Dip it in the gravy, it's like a gravy, and slurp it. Delicious. Yum. Now it's Dan versus World Time. I'm gonna tell you guys how, how I like my ramen. Um, actually, Brad here is the first time at Shijita, so we're gonna see what he thinks about the ramen. Oh no. Mm. Mm. How's it taste? It's good? Yeah. It's is it a lot spicy? Different than, uh, no, I haven't made mine spicy. It's okay. a lot different than the standard ramen I'm used to. Oh, okay. It's a lot richer. Where, where, where are you used to eating? Um, either right down here, I forget the name of that place. Tatsu. Tatsu? Yeah. Tatsu? Or a Daikokuya. Ooh. Daikokuya is good. Daikokuya, okay. I'm about to eat my ramen. I don't like to put as much things as chi. All I like is really sesame seeds. Right here. Sesame. I'm gonna condiment my thing up a bit. Dip my ramen in this broth, get it nice and milky. Let's see. Now that's what you call slurping ramen. Good, like Brad said, it's milky. A bit salty, there's a lot of sodium in there of course, Asian food. And the broth is really thick. I'm gonna try this char siu, the pork. It looks really fatty. Should we dip this too? No, I think we don't I dip do. this. I usually do. Mm, so I'm not gonna dip this. The meat looks really good. It is indeed very fatty. You taste the charcoal grill on it. 
Delicious. Mm. So the egg is also one of my favorites. It's soft oil. And there's like a flavor to it too. So look, it's like melty, the yolk of shoot. Soft boiled egg. This egg is really delicious. Nacho is super close. That's the other side. Dip it one more time. Look at this. You can get the noodles in the large if you want. They just give you extra noodles. Mm. So savory. Want and scrumptious. Quick update. You don't want to dip your ramen in the broth for too long because it is very salty. So yeah. That's why it's called dipping ramen. You can try the tuna bowl now. Let's see. Uh, spicy tuna. The spicy tuna bowl. It's like a little appetizer you eat on the side. Mm. Tuna is surprisingly fresh for a ramen place. Pretty good. I don't know if these are ham bread or not, but these noodles are really thick and um, hearty. It's not like your typical cup noodles. <laughs> Mm, yummy. My pimple is really popping in this video right now. I hope you guys don't judge me. I'm getting pretty full. The thing about ramen, like Chi said, is that it expands in your stomach. So if you're not really hungry, you'll get really full very quickly. So apparently you get broth refills here, but um, I ate too quick. How's the ramen? Delicious. But I always regret after I eat all of it. <laughs> then the noodle expands and then I'm like dead. Yeah, I can't wait. So I also have the same analysis. I really enjoyed the ramen. But like I said, it was really fatty. I'm really full. I feel like I just consumed a bunch of cholesterol and fat. But yeah, if you like this video, like it comment if you have any other recommendations so after our dinner look at the weight now guys look at the weight so after ramen we're here next door at dessert noble tea to get some custard fish this is what it is custard fish I should call something else I think it's called takoyaki <laughs> Let me taste this. Okay, it's hot. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Here, you guys want to try some? Oh, it's good. It's like a mochi. Batter. It's actually pretty good. You've had it before. And of course, the boba. Subscribe for more Denver's World Vlogs.